Good day, panelists. I am Shelan Nunesia Perese, the lead researcher of Group 1 of 11 STEM Carnelian AM. And our topic is all about the perspective of first-year civil engineering students and the usefulness of STEM strand in senior high school. For the first question, What is the background of your study? The background of this study aims to understand the viewpoints of first-year civil engineering students at Cebu Technological University on main campus regarding the usefulness of STEM strand on senior high school. In addition, this study seeks to evaluate the effectiveness of STEM strand in preparing students for their college-level civil engineering education. For the fourth question, what are the limitations of this study? The limitations of this study will only be applied to the students who are currently studying at Cebu Technological University, and this will only include 15 participants. The study will be got, the data gathered in this study will be through interviews. For the sixth question, what is the statement of the problem? First, what are the most useful subjects in senior high school that can be applied in college? Secondly, how is the senior high school program effective for you as a college student? Third, was the STEM program in senior high school beneficial for your preparedness in college? For the sixth question, what sampling did you use? Random sampling was used in this study to ensure the unbiased selection of the participants or K informants and also represent the major population of the first year civil engineering students. For the seventh question, based on your findings, what are your recommendations? We recommend that the senior high school should focus more on written works rather than performance based and implement transition programs to prepare senior high school from senior high transitioning to civil engineering. For the eighth question, what was the most challenging aspect of this research? The most challenging aspect of this research is the data gathering, the limited time the researchers only have, and the late approval of the letter of intent. One of the hardest, ch hardest challenges and aspects of this research is the limited, the limited resources the researchers only have. For the ninth and last question, what advice would you give to a student who is starting the research process considering the methodology that is used? The first advice that we want to give is thoroughly state the research questions and objectives that you want to find in your research. Secondly, the I or we would like to give is thoroughly review already existing literatures or data so that you can clearly state the research gap that your research or your study will fill or will provide answers to and lastly find uh, appropriate methods in the type of research that you have for example in the quality in the qualitative study choose methods that are not based on numbers but based on the differing opinions or the different informations that the key informants would like to give or can give you. Yeah.